Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. There's some thing, been some things going on with, uh, in February, my family and I got sick with uh, an unnamed disease been going around. And then I had some other projects going on, including my parents moving, etc. I've also been trying to get, uh, get back here this done, which is the bow section of the Victory, just to get off my bench. Obviously it's not done yet, but it's a lot farther than it was. So hopefully I can get back on the siren and the coach and get those videos going again. In the meantime, uh, this video is about doing the um, blocks and dead eyes on the mast tops. Enjoy the video. So we're back here working on the top of the mast for the siren. Starting to get this rigging in place here. Um, what we have is we have eight holes here for the blocks. Four for double blocks, four for single blocks. Double blocks are on the inside, single blocks are on the outside, per the instructions. So I'm starting to get those rigged up. I'm rigging them up with a pin on the top side to hold them in place, which makes it a little bit more complex, but in some ways a little bit easier. So work on that, just make sure your hole's cleared out. You drilled previously. These Run your, your string through and then back up. Back through so you can get a loop on the top side. And I have dipped the end of this rigging in super glue to harden it up first. Hard part is getting it to go back through. Make sure you leave enough of the tail on the short side so you can work with it. And then while you're looking on top of it, you have a bunch cut up here, but you stick a little pin in here and pull it down. And that gives you the nice pin on the top to hold it in place. And you can sit here and fight it and try to get it straight. And it'll never be perfectly straight. Once that's in place, you can come in and just set it with some super glue. This is all going to get painted black, so the shiny spot of the super glue is going to get hidden anyway. Then once that's set up, you can come back, snip off the other side of your line so that you got a nice tail to work with. Flip it over. And on this side, I do a uh, seizing on it so that the block is not right up against the wood. Get a clove hitch to start with over both lines. Down all the way. And then if these things will cooperate with me. I'll just come and do a five half hitches just to hold it in everything in place and give me some space. This simulates a seizing on the underside as well as giving you that space to keep the block off the wood. Later on, when you're running your rigging through the block, it'll help out because it gives you a little bit more space. So, four. I think. Get nice and tight in here. Get my lighting over here so I can see and you can see. Set it up with some glue. And I find once that glue dries, rather than using scissors to cut off the tails, Use a knife, you can get it a lot closer. So you don't have the tail sticking out. Then you have your ties to go around the block. First one I did here is a double block. This one here is going to be a single block. And one thing I've discovered, and I highly recommend is when you're doing these blocks, to keep from them pinging off into parts unknown, put a piece of thread through it. They won't fly as far when they ping. And fish on light color floors, it makes it a lot easier to see it because you can see that thread a lot easier 
then you can see Doesn't look like it's drilled, and you can see the block. Okay, so for those of you who are doing these kits, one thing you are going to find out is some of these blocks you'd run a drill bit through. Because, like I said, this one here doesn't even look like it has a hole in it, it does. Well, it's been closed up because of the shavings. So there's the hole in that one. Another thing about doing the string through it is you know at least for a single block you know the holes open for a double block you know at least one of the holes open. Then you can set it in there, tie a half knot, and then using the string and tweezers you can situate this block in there. It's actually upside down at the moment. You actually want the hole away from where the how here it's going to go, whatever's going to go through it. And you just tie it on there. You get it as straight as you can, pull it tight, seize your line at the top with some glue. Wrong word. Glue the line at the top, and I glue it down the sides. I'm just using some medium gap filling super glue once that pull your string out because you don't need that anymore and then once it's dry you just come up and just trim off your ends and like I said if you cut it with a knife rather than scissors you can get them a lot closer to the block so it looks correct I'm gonna go ahead and get these other six in place when we come back and we do the one of the dead eyes Okay, here we're back on the mast top, doing the, the um, dead eyes for the shrouds. I already have a bunch of little loops made up here, just wrapped around a, a drill bit and then C's and glued so that was a loop. Stick it through and then I'm going to do a clove hitch onto it. To start the seizing on this end, I'm going to do five loops over here. So, one, two, three, and this does two things it holds this loop in place, four, and keeps the eye for the shroud from sitting on the wood. Do that. A little bit of glue to bind it. When I glue it, I take the two pieces up here that have to go around the eye and spread them apart. For the eye itself, get these things out of the way. Strongly recommend you take a piece of thread and feed the eye onto. I think you've seen me do that before. Because these are so small that if they go flying, you'll never find them. So the eye is on there. Then you can come on, tie the top. Bring it down close. Get the eye in the center, there's a groove on it, so if you can get it to sit there, 
Doing pretty good. So get sit in the center. Every one of these has gone fast until I get it on camera, by the way. There. Pull it tight like that. See if your holes are lining up somewhat how you want them. Pull that string out. Body glue on top. Trim it and you got one done. Oops, that one came apart. Guess I'm redoing this one. This just of it, you get get everything in there, get together, and get together and get tied off. Okay, some time has passed. Obviously, I went ahead and painted up the mast top, glued it in place, put the rails on, glued the top, and finished off the cap here with its um, blocks for both masts. Nothing you haven't seen before, just painting, gluing, cutting, shaping. Keep in mind the mast top on the foremast has a single uh, block on both sides. For the main mast is a single block on both sides plus a double block on the aft section side of it. Got the cleats in place. These cleats are actually not glued on. They're actually a piece of wood run through and shaped. And then in the case of the foremast I have a, a big single block here. This block, they say, is a 5 30 seconds block in the kit. They do not include any 5 30 seconds blocks. And that's the only one I can find on the kit. On the plans and instructions, it's a 5 30 seconds. So I borrowed one from another kit and I'll have to replace it for here. I have my um, uh, collar here and everything set up for the four, uh, main mesh stay, and then I have another block right here. So these two masts are done for the lower section of the masts. Next time I'll have to, next time I'm trying to think next time if I'm going to be mounting these on the ship and running the shroud the the, the shrouds and the what four stays I can, or if I'm going to be working on the next section of mast uh, the top masts. I'm leaning towards getting these on the ship. That way they're off my bench and not getting broken. So anyway, that's where I'm at now, and I will come back next time, see you next time, and start working on whatever I decide to work on next. Thank you for watching.